Buddy and Jovi the elf. What's your favorite color? We had to make this one as festive as possible because it's that time of year. That's yeah. right. See my hat in full view. Yes. There you go. If you are new to the channel, thank you for finding us. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. Thank you for watching our content. We really appreciate it. It helps us out a great deal, and we hope that it entertains you and brings a little bit of extra joy to your holiday season. And we want to remind you, as always, to like and subscribe. Please. We appreciate all of your clicks, all of your likes, all of your comments, all of your watches. Please feel free to interact with us in the comments section below. And that said, we have a few taste treats for you today. I will let my lovely partner who appreciates elf culture, <laughs> yes. I will let her. I stick to the four main food groups. <laughs> Sugar, um, sugar, sugar, and yeah. sugar. She will explain what we have going. We have three items to taste today. The first order of business we have, in keeping with the theme, we have elf cereal. Very exciting. Even better, family size. So we can have lots of sugar. Now, the best thing about this cereal, and I literally just saw this a few seconds ago before we started filming, is that it's flavored with maple syrup and other natural flavors. When I saw it, I mean, like, you can look at the box. It looks like Kix. I thought it was just gonna be Kix with marshmallows. And I will say, one of my favorite things to put on Kix is maple syrup. He also does it on Wheaties, too. Yes, I'll, I'll get a, I'll pour a nice bowl of Wheaties or Kix, and then I'll pour just a small coating of maple syrup on the top, and then I'll mix it up. It's a game changer. So tasty. If you haven't tried it, give it a try. Little maple syrup, even like in oatmeal and stuff. Oh, we should top notch. You have to grab milk, don't you? I, oh yeah, I put the milk. We have milk, I promise. <laughs> to, to note too, while I step away for a second, look at the cute little characters on the front. Mr. Narwhal. Mr. Narwhal and Arctic Puffin. Bye, buddy. I hope you find your dad. I mean, it's totally cashing in on the nostalgia. Okay, smells like maple syrup and plastic. Smells like plastic <laughs> to me, but hopefully it doesn't taste like plastic. It just looks like Kix with Lucky Charm Mallows in it. That's cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm. But if it tastes like maple... <laughs> okay, or do I have to lift my bowl? Well, let's just really give the viewers something Maybe to Maybe I should have a green bowl. Well, yeah, you should. We're color coordinating. Look yeah. at that. And you got red for it. Yeah, she, oh. she must have done that on purpose. Spoons up. Spoons up. Clink. Mm. Oh my god. Right off the bat. That is incredible. Mm hmm. It's pretty good. Mm. It tastes amazing. It tastes just like maple kicks. Oh. That is delicious. If you like maple kicks. I do. There you go. I'm not a huge fan of cereals with marshmallows in them, honestly. I I, I, I've never been a big marshmallow guy in general. Mm. Oh my God, this is so good. That's pretty good. This is amazing. I would totally eat this every day. Yeah, see, I wouldn't. I, I, mm. it's, it's good, but to me, it's like, something that I would eat as a treat. Oh man, that's good. And like, I could even like take or leave the marshmallows. They don't, it doesn't even really matter. The cereal itself is delicious. I think the best part about this too is the milk. Cause now the milk's like maple flavored. I would give that cereal a six. I give it's, it a nine. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> to me it's okay and it's pretty good, but it doesn't get past six because to me the sevens and up are reserved for cereal that's like i would look forward to a bowl of that i wouldn't look forward to a bowl of that if it was there i'd eat it but fair enough it's not like uh crack one oprah man, nothing which, really is. man that's good stuff, this stuff right is there. so good so six and a nine for nine. the elf cereal there you have it that was good so next up we have gingerbread oreos right here they are a gingerbread flavored cookie 
cream with crunchy sugar crystals. Now, gingerbread Oreos are not new. They were around several years ago. However, something's different about them this time. Maybe the designs on the front are new? I don't be. know, I mean. And for some reason, I think they were golden last time. All I, I know is. Wrong. He's not really I'm not excited. Person. I am not a gingerbread person at all. But they do have on the back five festive designs. The first thing I will say about these gingerbread Oreos, mm -hmm. they have a crap ton of stuffing. Look at yeah. how much filling is in that one cookie. That is ridiculous. That is way too much stuffing. Look at how much is in this one. What are you kidding me? That's obscene. My first note upon smelling these is that they smell just like the inside of a Michael's store. Crafty they actually and really do. Cinnamon and Especially during, <laughs> during Christmas time. You walk into Michael's at Christmas and it's just like, yeah. it's like an assault. Yeah. So if you like the smell of Michael's store, you're gonna love the you're smell, gonna of love these. The <laughs> smell of these. Gingerbread the selling eyes. point, it tastes like Michael's. <laughs> Michael's what? Michael! Michael Myers! I should have put that on the box. Smells like the inside of my I These really are does. so gingery. I am yeah, very really nervous. I do not like gingerbread. No. And I'm not a fan of ginger. Now see, I like gingerbread a little bit more than he does. But I, I'm still not like a big, like, big huge fan of it. Like I won't just go out of my way to eat gingerbread. Or make gingerbread. What design did you get? I got a tree. So did I. I got a Christmas oh. tree too. Maybe it's by Row. Cookies up. Cookies up. Going in. Mm. Those are good. Honestly. Those are pretty darn good. Mm -hmm. It's gingery, mm -hmm. but it's not like offensively gingery if you're not mm -hmm. a huge ginger person, which again, I'm not. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel like you're being smacked in the face or on the tongue with ginger. Right. Those are actually delicious. You know how they'd be really, really good? In coffee. Yeah, totally. Dunked in coffee. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect to like them. Neither did I. As much as I do. Like he said, it's like the perfect amount of ginger. The sugar cr crystal cream is really good. Those are a perfect holiday I enjoy treat. Them. What would you rate them? I think I'd give them a seven. I can't give them anything higher mm -hmm. because they're not, they're still not something I would reach for. Like, if I had my choice of Oreos. Sure, right. Or choice of cookies, mm -hmm. I would not reach for a gingerbread Oreo. That's that a very said, specific flavor. Yeah, and it's yeah. just not my favorite flavor. That said, they're very good, and they're very good dunked in milk. I uh, Coffee. They're probably good dunked in milk too. With milk. I would give them, I'd probably give them a seven as well, simply because of that fact. Mm -hmm. Maple cream fudge stripes. Maple cream fudge stripes. These are the ones I have been waiting on for months. Can't find them anywhere, literally nowhere. Can't find them online. I didn't even find them on eBay. Well, that's not totally true. I did find well, we did. one it's person just, we're not selling pay a package. We're not gonna pay $30 for a package of cookies. Correct. My mom found these at a grocery store and I'm very grateful to her for that because they were not around very long and I think maybe just out a couple months and everybody had been posting online that they couldn't find them pretty much anywhere so I'm very grateful just because I love fudge stripes and I love as I said earlier maple, maple. I love syrup syrup just upon releasing <clears throat> the cookies from inside their homes the maple smell is their home the packaging <laughs> we created these Keebler fudge stripes maple cream cookies crispy golden cookies with the delicious taste of molasses drizzled with creamy maple flavored frosting. Oh, oh my God. God. But gobble them up soon because these irresistible treats will be gone before you know it. Oh. Apparently they were gone before we could even find them. <laughs> so this was like a bucket list <laughs> item for me. I haven't had a fudge stripe in like forever. 30 well, like years. That. Look at that maple action. Wow. Mm. You can see the texture. The smell is out of this world. They are definitely very molasses-y. 
Yeah. And very mapley. And the, yeah. the frosting on the back is already melting to my fingers. So <laughs> without further ado, this is the one I'm most excited <laughs> oh, about. Oh yeah. Cookies up. Cookies up. Yeah. Mm. That's good. Uh-huh. Mm. <laughs> it's a fairly subtle maple flavor. Mm-hmm. Mm. More than anything, even though they're molasses and maple flavored, supposedly, mm. they really remind me of white chocolate. Interesting. The, sh the kind of the frosting on the back is kind of like a generic -y kind of vanilla y frosting with just a hint of maple. That uh, that's my take. They're good. They are very good. But they're not like ugh, like I thought they were gonna just blow my mind. Kind of like the maple Oreos. Yeah. The maple cream Oreos that they've had a couple of years now. If you can find them, definitely try them. It's worth that, especially if you like maple. The frosting is very waxy. Mm. I will also say that. And I think that's kind of throwing me off. We're good though. It'd be good, good drinking coffee. I mean, if you had company, which you can't, well, I mean, you can, you can risk having <laughs> company. Did. But if you did, these would be a nice cookie to put out with some coffee mm -hmm. or, you know, water or milk or whatever someone drinks. And lots of because napkins. <laughs> because they're very subtle and they're not too sweet. They're really not that sweet, I no. don't think. Mm -mm. I mean, unless the Oreos just screwed my taste buds to hell because the, the Oreos were fairly sweet. Yes. But these are not... No, they're a lot more subtle than I they're thought they were. They're not super sweet. No. Mm -hmm. I like good. that about them. Mm -hmm. The frosting is a little too waxy for me. Mm -hmm. But they're good. I'd give them a solid seven and a half out of ten. Mm -hmm. I was just hoping they'd be like a nine or a nine mm -hmm. and a half because we've had some Oreos that were like, like mind blown. Like the Dunkachinos. Oh. Those things were like off the charts good. Yeah. So mm. I'd recommend them. Oh yeah. Give them a whirl, especially if you like EL fudge cookies. When I was a kid, my grandma used to always get you all fudge stuff, mm -hmm. fudge sticks and grasshoppers, fudge stripes and grasshoppers mm -hmm. and yeah. there were a couple of others that she she always mm -hmm. had stuff in the cabinet. She always had cookies in the cabinet. Mm -hmm. So that said, a pretty good haul. Yeah. Not great, not mind-blowingly good, but pretty good. Yeah. I recommend all of them. I just don't highly recommend any of them. You know, they weren't like a oh you gotta have these. But the Oreos were pretty damn good. Yeah. The fudge stripes are really good for the season. Mm -hmm. They're not too overpowering. You won't, like if you have five, you're not gonna be like, oh, my teeth hurt from the sweetness. Right. The elf cereal is, you know, it's okay. Kids will love it. Kids will love all of these, I think. Yeah. I don't know, maybe the gingerbread might be a little, oh, I know what I was gonna say, the gingerbread Oreos, the amount of frosting could have been halved. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's too much. To it's get more way too much to get more of the cookie experience yeah. because mm -hmm. Experience. When you think of gingerbread cookies, well, when you think about gingerbread cookies, yeah. you think about the little man, you know? Yeah. And maybe he's decorated with icing or something, but like, right. you're you're eating it for the cookie. It's like Trader Joe's, those are what, ginger snaps or whatever they are? Aren't they yes, like ginger, ginger snaps? snaps? See, like, those are just a circle cookie, no frosting, no nothing, no filling. It's just mm -hmm. a brown circle mm -hmm. ginger snap cookie. To me, that's what I think of. And I know Oreo, this is... It's Their thing is filling and designs on them, and it's pretty and it's festive and it's cute, mm -hmm. but like the flavor crystals are too much and there's too much damn filling. But that's something we noticed when we tried international Oreos. There's a lot oh, less yeah. filling and the sugar is way toned down. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that caps it up. Yeah. <clears throat> or caps it off. Wraps it up. Sorry. Been a long day already. We gotta get back to the North Pole. You know, Santa needs us. Yeah, to, uh, I gotta finish my finish syrupy the presents. The world's best mm. cup of coffee. The world's. It tastes like a crappy cup of coffee. No. No, it's the no, it's the world's best. best cup of coffee. It's not really the world's best, but it's pretty good. Anyway, 
We hope that all of you are doing well and... Please stay safe. Yes, we hope that you're staying healthy. It's kind of scary out there right now, folks, so please mm -hmm. be careful. Um, stay healthy as best as you can. I know this time of year can be difficult for people. Right. It's going to be somewhat difficult for us because of some of the things that happened this summer. We know how the holidays can be difficult, and I know they're going to be difficult for a lot of people this year. Right. And um, my slipper We're just fell off. We're doing the best we can with what we have available to us. Okay, that just about does it, folks. That's our holiday-themed taste testing and reaction video. If you like what you see, please do us a favor and... Like or subscribe. And or both. <laughs> we would love you to do both. And we will have more holiday-themed taste test videos coming up, plus Indeed. another spicy food tasting yes. thing that I am really not looking forward to. So we will see you there and then. Thank yes. you for watching. Have a great holiday season. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Be safe. Follow the COVID guidelines. Do the right thing. And we will see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Okay, that just about does it, folks. That's our holiday-themed... Yeah.